Joining me now is Jared Day. Jared um, found out that he was losing his eyesight. Now he's trying to cross things off his bucket list. Jared, uh, tell us a little bit about your condition and uh, how that inspired you to do this and start crossing things off. Uh, Well, thanks for having me on. So in 2020, I started having some vision issues and went to the hospital and they told me I had a detached retina from diabetes, unfortunately. And they did a surgery on me. And unfortunately, the surgery didn't take as I had an emergency that kind of came up during the healing process. Uh, So they did the surgery again, which I thought, you know, maybe that'll work because if I could do the proper healing this time. And unfortunately, the two surgeries, lost. I lost my vision from it. Uh, after that, they took a look at my right eye and said, oh my gosh, it's so much worse than your left eye was. And told me at that point, I only had six months left of vision completely until I'd go totally blind. Um, and that really kind of set me on a mission to go, what are the things I would like to do in life if I only have six months? And that way I can make as many memories as I can. So if my vision does fade completely, I have these in my head forever and luckily we're in 2024 now and my vision it, it's limited but it, it's still there and i'm still kind of able to make those memories happen amazing uh and uh congratulations that you've been able to uh, keep you. your vision for uh as long as you have and the ability to do that and really uh really take things into perspective and uh, realize what's important to you and be able to cross things off your bucket list. You're going to be here in South Florida next month uh, at uh, Lone Depot Park for a Marlins game. What are you going to be doing there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I, one of the things on my list was to throw a major league baseball first pitch. And I, I love baseball always have. And I decided, you know, I'm going to reach out to a couple teams and one being the Marlins because my entire family is in the Miami Dade and Broward area. And it was like, if I can do something where my family actually gets to see me do this and be a part of this memory, I'm making a memory for myself, but I'm also making a memory for them at the exact same time. Uh, and it just so happens to you know, kind of fall on my grandfather's birthday and we'll have the whole family out there for it. That is awesome. Very cool stuff. Uh, what day is that happening? That's going to be Friday, May 31st. Awesome. Mark it on the calendar. Jared Day, first pitch, May 31st at Lone Depot Park. What are some of the other things that you've been able to cross off your bucket list, Jared? Uh, so, so far, like um, my wife and I were able to take a trip to Hawaii. My my family's originally awesome. from there and always heard about it. We never got to go. Uh, I got to meet musicians that I've been huge fans of. And we went to the World Series. And the biggest one and probably the most impactful one that started the entire list we got to cross off and that was see my wife walk down the aisle uh at the time when i got the original diagnosis we were just kind of dating but we knew that getting married was in our future and it's they say it's taboo to see your wife in a wedding dress before the day it happens um when i got the six month diagnosis i didn't know that i would even make it to that day with my vision uh, so the day of her fitting, I asked her, hey, can you please send me a picture in your dress? I don't know if I'm going to make it. And she did. And luckily, I was able to see her walk down the aisle in, in that dress. And that was probably the biggest and most impactful one. Awesome stuff, Jared. Uh, kudos to you for, like I said, really <laughs> uh, finding uh, perspective in your life and figuring out what's important and going out and making those things happen. Uh, congratulations to you and your family. May 31st, he's going to be out there at Lone Depot Park throwing out the first pitch for the Miami Marlins. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, Jared, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes this morning. Absolutely. I appreciate you giving me time. And if I could say just one last thing, if there's anybody out there that has something they want to do, you don't have to be sick. You don't have to get a horrible diagnosis to go out there and do all the amazing dreams, passions, and things you want to do. Jared Day, thank you so much.